welcome back to the channel and today I'm gonna give you a little look at what my solar aerator setup looks like I'm gonna also put down in the description all the parts and stuff that I bought off Amazon to make this work and I'm gonna show you a little bit beforehand what this used to look like because I had it all set up just on the ground and now I've got this nice post set up that I made and so I'm gonna show you a little bit of all of it So as you can tell this new setup is a lot cleaner it looks a lot nicer when you come back to the pond I just used some 4x4 posts concreted them into the ground and then used some of the extra lumber that I left over from our deck build and it looks super clean now and it's a lot easier to weed eat around it and everything so I'm gonna show you all the parts and how I have it set up so let's get into it so I'm just gonna do a little walk around first show you all the parts and sort of how much they are, which prices have gone up since I bought all this stuff about a year ago. But if you want to save a little bit more money too, sometimes you can get them used or the, you know, the returns on Amazon. And that's what I did with most of my stuff. So starting at the top, we got the Renogy solar panels. And these, I got two of them, they're 100 watts each, so it's 200 watts. And it came with all the cables to hook it up to run it to the controller, which the controller was a 30 amp controller that it came with. And then it came with the cables from the controller to hook up into the battery. So starting off, that whole package right there, right now is $211 on Amazon. So here's what the top layer looks like. It's the Renogy solar charge controller. That was part of that package. It's that 30 amp one. And so I have it just right in this little centerpiece. It worked out perfectly, fit right in there. And then I have this little Neotech. This is the timer piece that goes on and off to let the aerator come down in the morning, turn it off, and then come back on in the afternoon. And then this is the Bluetooth piece. This Bluetooth piece, it probably ran me around $34. This little timer piece was $14. That controller was included in that package. But the Renogy 700 watt inverter, it was $108. So the nice thing about this inverter is it's got a few different outlets that you can use. So one of the outlets that I use goes to the aerator pump. And there's another outlet in there that I have hooked up to these two computer fans. I found these for the pair it was $15. So I have one that pushes air in and the other one that pushes air out. And those only come on when the aerator turns on. Whenever the aerator's on, fans turn off. When it goes off, these turn off, so they're not constantly running, wasting battery. So down here, as I said earlier, where the cables come out and run down, this is where the battery is stored. And I just went to Walmart and got one of the deep cycle marine batteries. It was about $100, $110 for it. But then over here, I've got the aerator pump, and it is a blue diamond. And then the hose, it's a weighted hose It goes out into the pond and goes into my blue diamond diffuser out there. So let's bring the camera a little bit closer and show you the inside of this thing. So when hooking this whole thing up, it wasn't really too hard to do, but this Bluetooth piece, it just comes and connects right into this RS232 outlet. And then there's a positive and a negative terminal for the solar panels. So you just come right off the solar panels, those things are marked, take them right into there, and then about the same thing, you've got a positive and negative for the battery. It goes down into the battery case, hooks onto the battery lugs, and then from the battery lugs, you got cables that'll come back up, it'll hook right into this timer, and then from this timer, it'll come out and go down underneath, and that's what hooks into my inverter down at the bottom. So I've got the aerator pump going right now, and as you can probably tell, right out there where all the bubbles are coming up, that's where the diffuser is, out there. And unfortunately I can't show you mine, because it's down at the bottom of the pond. I've got a 50 foot weighted hose that runs all the way out there, and I'm going to put a picture right up here that'll sort of show you what diffuser I got. But the one that I got was $144, and it was also a blue diamond. So I'm going to put all the stuff listed down below, and thanks for just 
seeing what my setup looks like. If you need one, this one works great for me. Maybe it will for you too. But thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys later.